We have officially arrived in the home stretch of this 169 hour fast. I'm less than 24 hours out from wrapping this up. In fact, I have 22, no, 21 and a half hours to go. 21 hours and 38 minutes to be exact. So, now comes the fun part. How am I gonna break this fast? And this is something I have to be very aware of. Having done this in the past, I learned my mistake the first time. The first time I finished a seven day fast, I felt so restricted because I had never gone for such a duration before and all I could think about was eating absolutely everything in sight. And probably not the best strategy I've ever had, the first thing I ate last time was a four persons chef platter from a Lebanese restaurant. Absolutely delicious, but anybody who loves Lebanese food knows that there's a lot of beef, a lot of chicken, and a lot of lamb, and that can be very challenging for your body to digest. Further, considering my digestive system had been taking a long break for the seven days leading up to that. So it tasted delicious, it went down well, but then I had to sleep for like four hours in the afternoon to recover because I was so exhausted. I didn't get sick, I didn't get nauseous, I was just beat. So, we don't want that to happen again. Well, you might wanna see me uh, get whipped from the first meal that I eat, but I don't want that to happen. So the question becomes, how am I gonna break it? So, the second time I did a seven day fast, I experimented a little bit differently. The first thing I did was I broke the fast with a very light snack, like something super, super, super small. Uh, and I did that purposely because I wanted something very simple to digest. A great example would be some fruit. Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort for the body to digest it and you don't have to eat an excessive amount of it. I break the fast with that last time, felt good, and then actually went from there into sushi. How weird, eh? Uh, I figured, you know what, the sushi um, is probably going to be a little bit easier on my body to digest. You know, some vegetables, a little bit of fish, as well as rice. Uh, and that actually went down very well. So I, I basically, my first meal after that mini snack, about an hour later, I sat down and had sushi. And then about five or six hours after that, your boy went nuts, had a massive feast, like huge. I don't know why I'm yelling like this, but it was so delicious, I get excited. So had a massive feast. Uh, and I think I'm gonna play with the same strategy come tomorrow. I'm gonna break the fast very, very lightly, come around 1, 1.30, uh, wait about an hour. I'll have the food ready though. Don't worry, I'll have the food ready. I'll be ready to rock and roll at which point I'll likely consume a little bit of sushi and maybe even something else that's somewhat starchy, uh, just because it's a little bit easier on my body to digest that. Then I'll likely take a nap. I'm not gonna lie, I'll take a nap. I'll probably be a little bit tired. Take a 30 minute nap and then I'll lay low for about five, six hours and then the feast will begin. Now the trouble is what is the feast going to be? I haven't decided what the feast is going to be yet. It's gotta be good, so I'm leaving this up to you guys. Hit me with your best suggestions. What would you be consuming? Consider this like the last meal you're ever gonna consume because it's about comparable on the uh, intensity spectrum. So it's like what would be the first meal coming out of a seven day fast is about even with if you had one final meal, what would it be? That's what I want to know right now. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your final meal would be. And I might consider incorporating it into my first meal only because I can eat. I can eat a lot of food. So maybe four or five people might have great ideas and I just might combine it all into a smorgasbord of awesomeness. That's about how I feel right now. Awesome. We'll catch you guys tomorrow.